All right, I wonder whether you've thought about this concept of risk reversal, right? So, or another way to say it would be a guarantee, guarantee. I wonder whether, um, you know, it's an interesting part because you know, most people are marketing, most people are selling, but when we have a guarantee or a risk reversal, it's a conversion rate strategy. We're getting more people to say yes who maybe wouldn't have said yes, okay? You know, it's, it, it's effectively, um, you know, alleviating uh, those people that are gonna put the decision off. It's giving them a reason to make the decision and, and say yes to you. So, you know, if your current conversion rate's 12%, for example, we put in a guarantee or a risk reversal so that we put them, they've got peace of mind. Your conversion rate may go from 12% to 18%, for example. So if you go from 12% to 18%, your business didn't just grow uh, 6%. All things being equal, your business just grew 50%, all right? So, um, so that's why it's a very, very powerful strategy. So when it comes to a risk reversal, we wanna ask ourselves, what's the risk, okay? From your prospect's perspective, I know you're sitting there going, there's no risk, we're wonderful. That doesn't work. It doesn't work in marketing, right? Marketing is about them and what's in it for them. So they've got a conversation inside their head where there is an element of risk to saying yes to you. And that would be really broad. Every business is different, every product's different, every service is different. So don't, but, but you need to know what is the biggest risk that your customers have in buying from you. Here's the question. What is the biggest fear that your prospects have in doing business in your industry? What's the biggest fear your prospects have in doing business in your industry, okay? Once we've worked out what that is, I call it a fear, we could also call it the friction point. What is the biggest point of friction that somebody would have in doing business in your industry? Let me give an example, just to kind of put it in context. Right, so I'm on the Gold Coast right now. You know, if you wanted a tradesperson, a plumber, a sparky, uh, aircon, whatever, if you want a tradesperson right now, the biggest risk, the biggest friction, is that you'll call them and they won't turn up, okay? That's, and that's fairly typical of anywhere that is a tourist-based lifestyle um, destination for living, okay? Because, you know, like, people just live here for, for different reasons. It's not just so they can go and, you know, build a great business. They wanna go to the beach and have fun. So a lot of the tradies uh, don't treat that business super seriously. I'm not saying all of them, some of them don't. And so, you know, you can book, for example, a plumber for, you know, eight o'clock tomorrow morning, and that plumber will be like, yep, I'll be there, and then they'll check the surf at seven, and they'll, and they'll be there for a few hours because that's their highest priority. So that's just one thing that happens. So if that's the case, then, you know, we just come up with a risk reversal with an on-time guarantee. The biggest friction point, the biggest fear is that I'm gonna book a tradie and they're not gonna turn up. Then we put a risk reversal around that. We put a guarantee around that. So all we would do in that case, okay, is, is go, we have an on-time guarantee. Let me give an example of what we've done in the past. Working with a plumber, said to them, so we just did all of our marketing that said, we absolutely guarantee to turn up on time. Absolutely guarantee to turn up on time, or we'll give you $70 cash, okay? So, so we went out to the market and we said, you know, we will be there on time. Small asterisk, um, if it's outside of our control, we will let you know beforehand that we're gonna be late. Okay, that's, that was our out. Because you can't always guarantee to be there on time, you might be one hour early, a five minute drive, turn the corner on the highway, and there's an accident, you can't get out of it. It's not about being late, it's about not telling anybody you're gonna be late. So we just had a guarantee where we said, we guarantee to be there on time, or we'll give you 70 bucks if we haven't let you know prior. That one market, and that, they're pretty common to have uh, like on-time guarantees now, but, but back when we did that, that wasn't common. And so when we marketed that out, it was incredibly commercial for the company and it was very, very good for the customer because they absolutely knew that this company was gonna be there all of the time, okay? So that's a risk reversal. What's the number one fear and work it through? Uh, let me give you another one. Um, let's go with a new, an accountant, right? Just picking a random business for fun. The number one um, fear of somebody going to a new accountant is they have to let somebody else see under the hood of the business and see what's really going on. So they're like, I don't want to go to a new accountant because the new accountant's going to find out that I owe the ATO money or I've got, you know, I haven't paid my super or, you know, we've got debts up to the eyeballs and, and revenues down, right? That's it. The funny thing is, from an accountant's perspective, they're like a doctor. They've seen it all before, so they're not too worried about any of it, right? They just, they'll just put the steps in place to, to advise the business to fix it. 
So, um, so if that's the biggest friction point, we would come up with a guarantee around complete, you know, privacy and 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 reporting back and whatever, whatever, whatever. However, you would language a guarantee to make people feel comfortable that you've seen it all before. Okay. Um, uh, what are some other ones that we did? Here was a really fun one. They don't all have to be serious. Uh, I'm not a fan of the money back guarantee. It works, but I'm not a fan of it. It would be my last resort to do a money back guarantee. Um, um, one of the ones that we have when we do our one-on-one -on -one coaching with our clients is we have a, a return on investment guarantee that if I don't produce more than the fees in net profit in the first 16 weeks, I'll coach them for free until I do. Right, so, so the number one concern, the number one fear, the number one friction taking on a business coach is I won't make more money than I'm paying in fees, okay? And that's madness. You know, you take on a coach to help you in business, right? So by the way, if you're, you know, if you, if you're getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching from someone and you're not getting that result, go back to them and say, listen, I'll, I need to get a better return. So, so we have, with our one-on-one -on -one coaching, where we work with these businesses, we say, we, you will get more money in net profit than you pay me in the first 16 weeks, otherwise we'll coach you for free. It's not a money-back guarantee, because I can't guarantee they'll do their homework. But it is, a, I'll stay with you until we do hit that milestone. All right, so, so you can do that. But a fun one that we did with the plumber was this. We did all of our marketing to say, all of our plumbers, we guarantee all our plumbers will wear a belt. All of our plumbers will wear a belt. So you can imagine what it's like. One of the reputations of a plumber, you know, you can imagine like Auntie Betty, who's 76 years old at home, turns the cupboard to walk into her kitchen and uh, there is a plumber with his pants hanging down, right? And, uh, and it's certainly not a good look. And so we guaranteed that all our plumbers wear belts. By the way, that went viral. Um, it, you know, it really did help the business and it was, it had a huge amount of cut through in marketing. So, so very, very fun in that regard. So you, my friends, need to put in that risk reversal and that's how you are going to increase your conversion rate.